Uh, last September 25th, I was operating on a very long case. I began to experience pain in my right uh, wrist. My right wrist started to swell, and I'd never had such severe pain in my life, and I really had no idea what was wrong with my wrist. So my wife is a nurse, and I asked my wife, whom I was working, with, with whom I was working, to uh, get some cortisone and come inject my wrist. I thought I had a tendonitis. So she did. She injected my wrist. And as I drove home that day, I could not believe how much pain I had in my wrist. And two days later, the pain was gone. So I thought, wow, cortisone did it. The cortisone helped. Wow, this is great. I don't know what that was, but it was sure awful. I'm glad it went away. And I played golf one day. No problem. And I thought, wow, I must be over this mess. And then all of a sudden, three days later, my knee starts to swell. I can't walk. I have never had so much pain in my knee. And I thought, wow, I had it in my wrist. Now I've got it in my knee. My C-reactive protein. My C-reactive protein was off the chart. I couldn't believe how high it was. And I went, oh, my God. Uh, what, what does this mean? So I immediately went to a rheumatology doctor, and the rheumatologist told me that I had an autoimmune arthritis. The pain was probably worse than he had ever seen. Uh, he was right, right, quite frankly, amazed how much pain I was having. My uh, physician assistant had to pick me up and carry me to the office. The pain got so bad. So I was uh, pretty distressed what I was going to do. I thought my life was going um, down immediately. And I just imagined my practice in medicine was gone. And you think everything terrible. Um, so I immediately got on the phone and I called uh, Dr. Jen Hong. We communicated and uh, Dr. Hong happened to be coming to Houston. We visited about RNL Bio, and I signed up immediately. I wanted to be helped. We went to our medical spa, and we had fat taken from, from our abdomen, our own fat. And our own fat cells were then sent to Korea, and they were put in tissue culture. And two months later, uh, glory be, we were in uh, Japan getting stem cells, uh, in May the um, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, sometime, early May. And um, I was overwhelmed by how easy it was. I was overwhelmed by the, um, the cleanliness and the, um, the professionalism at the hospital in Kyoto. You know, most of us are educated on evidence-based medicine, evidence-based trials, everything should be evidence-based before we should subject our patients to any type of treatment. And I wanted the evidence that this lab was as it should be, and uh, it was quite frankly more than I ever thought it would be. It was fabulous. So maybe by the fifth month, I started to feel like, wow, I don't need this medicine anymore. We know our bodies, um, as unique human beings, we all know our body better than anybody can diagnose. You just know you have a problem and you know what you need to do for your problem. And I knew I had a problem that wasn't being alleviated with methotrexate. Uh, by uh, middle of October, I had no symptoms at all. I've not taken anything since uh, September, and thank God I got well. So now I'm working more than ever. I'm working like a young man again. I feel great. My patients can't believe how I'm jumping around like a young man. The, the frustration that a lot of people have here in America is that we have to go to Korea to get the stem cells to uh, get the stem cells cultured. And then you either have to go to Japan or China to get stem cells. I, I think uh, people here in America um, 
are somewhat jealous of what uh, Korea has accomplished. Uh, and why aren't we further along? Why aren't we doing more like RNL has already accomplished? Um, I don't know. I think uh, there are too many restrictions here, and the restrictions are keeping medicine from getting where it needs to be. And unfortunately, South Korea thinks too much like America. Um, Japan is on top. China is on top. When they let autologous stem cells be given back, that is progression in medicine. That's where we should be. And shame on Korea, shame on America. We should not be limited to... to um, Having to go to Japan and to China to get stem cells? Come on. I mean, it's my own stem cell. It's my own body. It's my body part. It isn't going to hurt me. And, you know, all it can do is help. But it certainly isn't going to hurt.